situated in the northwest extremity of the great North American continent, 105 miles outside of Anchorage, Alaska, lays home to the largest moose species in the world. Remote and wild, with adventure stamped around every corner, this became the perfect location to play host for a raffle of a lifetime. Being a member of Hunt and Full has many benefits, and one of them is yearly hunt giveaways that lucky members get to take part in. This particular giveaway was a special one. It was for a coveted Alaska moose tag accompanied by a fully guided hunt. And the best part is, it's totally free. And every member of Hunt and Full has the opportunity to participate. So when Luke Berman was notified he had won the membership drive hunt giveaway, he could not believe his ears. Growing up in Colville, Utah, Luke Berman works in the field of construction after spending years as a guide for Big Canyon Outfitters. Hunting and fishing since he was a kid, Luke spent as much time as he could outdoors. Starting at the young age with a career in construction, it left him and his family the freedom they needed during the fall to get out and chase their true passion, hunting. After many years, his father purchased hunting rights to a great piece of ground outside of Salt Lake City. And the new family business, Big Canyon Outfitters, was born. From then on, Luke was helping his dad guide trips for elk, deer, and moose. This is actually how Luke became aware of Hunt and Fool. He became a member and began advertising in the early stages when the company was just running a newsletter, and he had great success. Those days are behind him now, and he has since moved back to help with the construction business. But Luke still remembered the dream he had as a kid to chase a massive Alaska moose of his own. This is where staying a part of Hunt and Full organization came back in play. One day as a standard member of Hunt and Full, he was contacted and told he had won his dream hunt. Luke began preparation for his exciting adventure of a lifetime into one of the greatest states this nation has to offer. So join us as we follow along in hopes of seeing his dream become a reality once and for all. Hunting encompasses every part of your life. You plan. You research. You map out every last detail. And when your drive for hunting is everything you do, you then become a hunting fool. My name is Luke Berman, I'm from Colville, Utah, and I won this hunt March 1st through the Hunt and Fool drawing giveaway. And we just got here to McGrath and uh, met up with our guy Jason. He's got a long-standing reputation of killing big moose and can't wait to get hunting with him on Friday. With thousands of acres of wilderness at Luke's fingertips, he was confident Hunt and Fool had chose the right guide for the job. That's why outfitter Mike Litson and guy Jason Renalda were put to the task of tracking down the solitary giant of Alaska's wild interior. With over 32 years of flying experience under his belt, Mike is not only a hunt and full endorsed outfitter, but also a licensed pilot and a master guide who knew Jason would be the perfect match for Lou on this adventure. I picked Jason to be Luke's guide because He's a real good moose caller. I felt like he had uh, the personality that would do the best in this, for this program. 
I'm Jason Ronaldo. I've been guiding hunts for Mike Litson for the last decade. I was real excited when I found out Luke was coming up. Gonna be a great hunt. We're going into one of my favorite moose camps. Late season moose with Mike. It's always a good time. See lots of big bulls. We're expecting the moose to really be rutting, uh, coming to calls, answering to calls. Should be a very exciting hunt. Traveling by small aircraft is a lifeblood of Alaska. Without it, getting to this remote wilderness of North America would be almost impossible. Up here, you're at the mercy of the weather. Alaska time rules are in effect because things can change at a moment's notice. Flight was awesome, a little bumpy, but seen a big moose and a bear, so it's pretty cool. We're here, we're ready. But as soon as Luke started to get settled into camp, there's a change of plans. Mike calls for a meeting. So plans have changed a little bit. Wind uh, has come up, it's blowing 70 on the Anchorage Hill side right now, which means it's gonna be blowing about 70 here tomorrow. So we're changing our plan. We're gonna go with plan B. We're gonna hunt out of here, uh, go up river a little ways, and taking some nice moose there in the past. Hopefully we could do it again. If not, we, when the wind goes down, we'll go back to our knob and uh, see if we can make it happen there. Sounds good. Excellent. Can't wait. Great. Right on. The mass. It's awesome. We got here about an hour ago at base camp. Level of excitement is through the roof. The hunt starts tomorrow. They kill huge moose here. Now we're gonna take a minute and go shoot our guns and make sure they're good to go for tomorrow. Can't believe I'm here finally doing it, thanks to the hunting fool. Hunting Fool is brought to you by Matthews Archery. Catch us if you can. Huskama. If you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. Red Rock Precision, the ultimate long range shooting solution. And Hunt and Fool, your complete hunting resource. This segment is brought to you by Auto Farm. Fun, simple, and transparent. Your personal guide to your next ride. Hunt full member Luke Berman is deep in the Alaska wilderness, starting the dream hunt that he won through the membership raffle. After flying into outfitter Mike Litson's base camp, Luke quickly got situated with the help of his guide, Jason Rinaldi. Once they made sure Luke's rifle was still grouping well, they were able to make the next leg of their journey. That's when the Alaska weather threw them a curveball. Due to the developing high winds, Jason and Luke could not fly into their final destination called the Hunt Knob, a prized hunting ground of Mike's. Instead, they were forced to hunt near base camp until conditions changed. After spending the early morning hiking, Luke and Jason are finally in moose territory. So the guys wasted no time and began glassing the wide open landscape. There's that caribou, and he's moved off to the left a little bit. Well, the main goal of this hunt is for Luke to harvest a moose. He was awarded two tags in the raffle from Hunt and Full, so he was keeping an eye out for a shooter caribou as well. Hey, Jason, you want to come take a look at this caribou? He looks pretty good. He's got a lot of points up top. Yep. He's got his head down right now. All right, there he is. He's got the back scratchers. I don't know what he has up top, really. Well, we're seeing a lot of caribou here, and Luke has a moose and a grizzly tag, and he can downgrade one of those tags onto a caribou, if that's what he chooses to do. And we are seeing a pretty nice caribou. He's a ways off, so not 100% sure that he's a shooter, but um, we're thinking about taking a closer look, and Luke's considering putting his grizzly tag on that caribou. 
the guys kept glassing, and eventually the caribou made its way closer, allowing Jason to make a decision. Yeah, not exactly what we're looking for. He doesn't have enough going on up top. Got a nice kicker there, decent bez. He's got some nice points, but he's not gone forward enough and he's not really palmed. Did you know each year, Hunt and Fool secures hunts all over the world with the most reliable and successful outfitters in the industry to offer turnkey opportunities that are ready to be booked? Check out the current directory of available hunts at huntfinder.com. This segment is brought to you by PhoneScope, the future of digiscoping. Because of high winds, the Super Cubs have been grounded at base camp and the pilots left unable to fly hunters in or out of spike camp. Waiting for the winds to subside, Hunt and Fool member Luke Berman and guy Jason Ronalda have been searching for moose from this location, but have yet to come across any signs of a trophy bull. Then, on the third day of the 11-day hunt, the high winds died down, allowing Jason and Luke to change locations, which will in turn allow them to reach the coveted hunting ground known as the Hunting Knob. Along the hike in, the guys are met with encouraging signs that the area is holding big moose. Okay, so we got a little mini moose will dig a rut pit. This isn't a rut pit, but it's kind of like a, a deer will do a scrape. They just do a little pit, dig a hole and piss in it. We definitely have a bull somewhere in the area. After seven miles of treacherous hiking, the guys finally reached a location Jason felt was a good spot to call home for the week. This is one of the most important decisions you can make when you're out in the wilds of Alaska. A good camp location can mean the difference between a relaxing night around the fire or sheer misery. Luke knew Hunt and Full had set him up with the right outfitter and guide, so there wasn't a concern. As the day came to an end, the satisfaction of the long trek was paying off with the aroma of a tasty hot meal. Mike dropped us off in another camp that another guide was in. We have an extraction point up river or we can get a raft drop to us and float down river if we were to get a moose. So we're gonna give this spot a try and see. We found a lot of sign and it's just a cool spot and we're pretty excited. As the sun slowly rose up into the Alaskan sky, Jason and Luke made the last leg of their journey, a six-mile hike to the coveted hunting knob. Hey Jason, there's a moose up there. I think it's a cow. Yeah, they're walking. Keep peeking, we're seeing moose. Yep. I'm liking it. Yeah, we see a moose. We should keep moving. Let's see if we can find another one. Let's keep poking our way along. First day we've seen him really moving. That's pretty good. There's a couple of cows right there, a cow and a cow. There's a bull, it'll be behind him. There's a bull, there's a bull. It's a nice one.
This segment is brought to you by Scree, extreme mountain hunting gear. High winds have kept hunting full member Luke Berman and guide Jason Ronaldo from reaching their prime hunting location known as the Hunting Knob. After three days of delays, they finally arrived, and things already looked promising as Jason had spotted a shooter bull three hours into the day. There's a bull. There's a bull. It's a nice one. Right on that. There's the, there, oh yeah, there he is. Ready, wait. It's awesome, man. What I live for. He is, he's stepping up. You see him? Yeah, I see him. He's, he's, he's coming left. We have him dead to rights. If we don't mess it up, we just have to give be patient and let him walk out. All right. He's behind that tree. If he takes two steps, I can kill him. Cool. All right, here he comes. Whoa. Oh. He's got a turn. Oh. He's looking at you, but he's got a turn broadside. There he is. All right, All right here I go. Shot built good. Yeah, he helped out right. nice. They got big lungs though, so it takes a while for them to expire. He's, got to, he's starting to walk down. All right. All right, I'm gonna hit him again. He's still on his feet. He's down. He's down. That was awesome. He is a monster. Wow! Congratulations. That is awesome. He took some lead. <laughs> they can take they it. They absorbed. Shots, too. They were great shots. They absorbed some lead. That's the big guy, you think? Yeah. Yeah, that's a big, big bull. It's a big bull. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. Let's go get our hands on him. There's a paddle. Look at that bull. Oh my God. Look at that moose. Look at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, look at him. That's unbelievable. What a toad. Look at those fronts. Oh, wow. We got up early this morning from our spike camp and headed up river. And Jason put us on a knob, did some calling, and this guy stepped out and we were able to make some good shots and put him on the ground. A huge thanks to the hunting fool for giving me this opportunity to be here. This is something I otherwise wouldn't have been able to do. And they made it happen. Also, I, I gotta highlight Mike Litson. He runs a great camp, he has great guides. If it wasn't for his flying abilities, none of this would even be possible. I couldn't be happier. What do you think, Jason? Oh, fantastic, and so happy for Luke. In the 10 years I've been doing this for Mike Litson, uh, it's one of the nicest bulls I've ever guided, and we've just had a, uh, a great hunt. Awesome.
After all the travel and the bad weather, Luke and Jason stayed patient and finally found the kind of magnificent bull they set out for. Thanks to Hunt and Full, Luke was able to overcome the rugged Alaska wild and harvest an animal of a lifetime. Although hiking to the extraction point was no easier on the way out, the giant trophy on Luke's back reminded the guys how every step of this incredible journey had paid off. Hunt and Fool was instrumental in, in making this hunt happen for me. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. I mean, they gave me an unbelievable opportunity that otherwise would probably not be within reach for me. I can't thank them enough. I mean, they were awesome. Closed captioning is brought to you by Realtree's Family of Patterns. Family, friends, and the outdoors. Crisp, clean, and wet. Alaska. <laughs> Check the wind for us. Yeah. We did our spot. On that one.